I'm here with uh, Luciana de Sa, director of the uh, Federation of Industries of the state of Rio de Janeiro. She's here with us. Luciana, uh, Rio is facing this challenge now. We'll see uh, the risk of losing oil revenue for the state. Do you believe that the money will come? The private sector can overcome that for the state. I don't believe that we will lose the money. We think that in the low house, we, we, will have, we will not have the approval of this project. So we believe we will receive the, the, the total amount of royalties that we are used to. The private sector is undercoming many investment projects as well. So we believe that Rio, we see Rio de Janeiro in a very special moment, actually. Do you see the industrial park ready to actually absorb the demand that the 2016 games will bring? Yes, we have many important projects in the industrial sector that will um, turn Rio to capable of providing the, the main projects of investment that are will come with the Olympic Games. The Federation had a, uh, budgeted that some $60 billion are already committed for the state of Rio until 2012. Do you see that the, the Olympics could actually uh, hunch this number up? Yes, we are believing that the Olympic Games will, will boost even more this number because this number was closed before the Olympic Games came to Rio de Janeiro, before this decision. How much direct investment do you believe the state of Rio can attract? I think we can attract maybe 50 percent more than we'll attract, we'll have attracted since now. Do you see foreign investors or local investors, do you believe that we'll be able to actually get more, attract more money from abroad? I think we are capable of attracting uh, foreign investors, but I believe that Brazilians are all also very interested in investing in Rio de Janeiro. We are living a very special moment, actually, in the state. Thank you very much.